Hello, my name is Njol, and Dungeons & Dragons is popular these days. And so is the whole uh, diversity, equity, and inclusivity. Whatever that means. Um, however, I'm not here to talk about that. I just had this idea. I'm just not capable of pulling it off. Because I have too many other store projects I'm working on. And I do. I am not a wheelchair bound. However, I want to put this idea out there. And share it with the masses and the world. To see if somebody can adapt or adopt this idea. So, as you all know, in fantasy, handicapped people are kind of rare. Especially in Dungeons and Dragons, so it's a world of high magic. Where everyone is pretty much of high constitution. So, what is the solution then? Oh, yes, it's uh, simple. You take a... Um, a cleric or a temple a device, for example dedicated to Pelinor you pay a sum and you can cure almost anything or use a vicious spell however there is potential here for a story beat where a character who is bound to a wheelchair is going on an adventure looking for a way to cure the in the their up their issue. Because after all, let's say they are paralyzed from the legs down, so they can only move their hands and don't feel anything in the legs. They can't move their legs, so they look for a cure. What I mean with I don't have the time or the energy for that is. I have a comic called Isekai, links down below. I started writing a naughty story that I really should update. And then I have two, two silly fan fiction going on as well. One about the familiars of Zero and, G and GLA crossover. And one with Alone and uh, the Rising of the Shield hero. Plus some game projects and animations, so yeah, <clears throat> I don't know how to pull this off. So, but 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 the idea is simple, right? So this character has issues and can't use the legs, and I decided to go on an adventure to find the legendary. Let's say they go to find the legendary genie that is inside a uh, dungeon. And as we all know, dungeons are not accessible for wheelchairs. Hell, they're not even accessible if you have two legs. They're usually old, decrepit, or full of monsters, death traps, and what the hell not. So, yeah. Wheelchair ramps is non-existent unless you start making them yourself. But, 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 but... That's where this ingenious idea comes into question. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and that is simple. The adventure is re revolving around this person overcoming the challenges of a dungeon. For example, this mock-up of elemental evil. As you all know, the biggest enemy of anyone who cannot walk is a staircase, especially a winding staircase, or you know, a slope, a steep slope. But that is the cruel uh, fate of the world, it's not made for uh, people with inconveniences. But... It still could work. It's still gonna work. So let's take this character. Let's uh, say call her. Call her uh, Bob or, um, or Billy or or him or they or them. Uh, it doesn't matter. But let's see. You uh, put some person in the chair, right? And they cannot use the legs, as stated earlier. And their only travel companion at start is the trusty Warforge, 
who is also a convenient manservant. So naturally it means that um, you have a servant pushing you around that will help you traverse through the terrain. That is well and all, however, that leaves you with the issue of the combat, but that's why there's a module for rules that makes that more possible and probable. And yes, as I said earlier, the goal is to reach the magic lamp. So let's say somewhere inside this uh, dungeon, doors and death traps, there is this Aladdin lamp. So as we all know, getting wish wishes in Dungeons and Dragons is always safe. All the genie is totally not just a demon stuffed in a bottle against its will that will kill you once released. Or find a way to screw you, unscrew your wishes. Even though you could technically level high enough to just learn a wish spell and hopefully wish the illness away. However, that is also most likely to make you just die or disappear, because, you know, it's a wish. You need to be careful what you wish for. So, if you have this uh, humble, uh, convenient manservant pushing you around the dungeon, then you have, are at least one step closer to... Uh, then you have at least one traveling companion. And you could always convince someone else to help you due to monetary gain or, you know, loot, whatever you want to call it. But uh, the thing is, this is a fantasy. Nobody said the wheelchair need to have wheels. Or uh, any such thing. In fact, if you get the right party members and the right artifacts... You can have a staircase, but you can just uh, use fly, and then you fly up. But if you're really lazy, you just emit staircases completely from the dungeon. Just make it flat. But then you're left with all the death traps, you know, spongy pits, uh, boulders. Things slamming against each other. Which is well and all, however... A flat... Uh, a flat floored labyrinth... Is also, unfortunately... Very... Dull... Boring and uninteresting. There needs to be elevation involved, some obstacles to come overcome. So yeah, there's nothing wrong in turning the character into a fighting powerhouse or a menace. <coughs> After all, it, it's still a chair with wheels, and you can just, for example, be a yost to a joasting. You can install, uh, it could be a mage, which can have, that's a perfect chair for casting. Uh, you could even make the, um, make the character in the chair a corpulent noble, with an, uh, born with an uh, uncurable affliction, looking for a wish. But decided to take uh, matter in their own hand. No, that's, and I said earlier, nobody said the chair needed to have wheels. Well, nobody said you had to use a chair, a chair in the first place. After all, spiders, giant spiders are a thing. So, for example, if you're a spider rider, you could get far with that. Or, you know, a giant mastiff if you're a... Uh, Halfling, or whatnot. 
or a manticore or a pony or a horse, whatever. The whole point is that you are, even though you cannot walk, you are not bound to need a thing with wheels. Because in fact, there's one thing I learned from fantasy without rubber, is that wheels are very uncomfortable compared to a horse. So let's go into detail again, let's say. Let's say Bob, a corpulent as uh, the Paralai Noble on a quest for the genie need to overcome a deadly a dungeon with his man servant and the summer and uh, a bard who wants to tell the tale of um, the daring do an exploit because nothing is more uh, enticing and Exciting and telling the story of, of on how a noble man overcome diversity and his own inherent born weakness improve his life. Yes, that is a decent plot hook, I suppose. Yes. Oh, what? Who owns the dungeon? What is the dungeon for? Let's say the dungeon is somehow related to a uh, to an alchemist or a um, artificer who is known to make contact with the forces of evil and devils and demons and what the hell not. I'm messing around with elemental plane. Which means this place is full of monsters. I don't know what the purpose or design and the layout is. Uh, let's say you come down a staircase, for example, and then you here. You need to walk around here. You can loot some. Coming along the here, as co some cobbles are moved in. Let's say, for example, if a part of the roof has collapsed, so there's a lot of rubble to overcome. And you need some deadly traps. Possibly a mimic, because Dungeons and Dragons is always mimics. Potentially here, um, water has seeped in, so the floor has collapsed. Uh, water all over. See some potholes in the floor. For example, you can have a outcome of gelatinous cubes. A minotaur that is stuck that somehow got uh, tried to walk into a room he couldn't fit into. You know, the usual stuff. So yeah. Instead of dismissing the idea, I am building upon it and improving it and giving it out to you, whoever you are as an inspiration for how you can do it. After all, instead of asking the incompetent company behind the uh, license, they, they will never work you out that uh, today and it's not their business. So we, I need to leave it in the hands of the capable community of Dungeon Masters and what the hell not. Pull off this miraculous feat make it fun and interesting. 
So I'm sharing the idea with you. Like, follow, subscribe to me on social media. All the links uh, to the stuff I mentioned is down below, along with my not-safe-for-work Patreon. I am signing out. <laughs>